For me, it's been a statement of power, of ownership, to be able to grow your own food, to have control of what you're going to put into your body, you are what you eat. Um, I live in a low-income neighborhood, surrounded by processed food, fast food, and junk food. And so, um, to be able to grow food in a community garden, we have over 20 families families from different ethnicity, you exchange recipes, you exchange cultures, you exchange different types of vegetables and fruits and herbs that people grow here. My name is Karen Washington. I'm a farmer. I grow food. I feed people body and mind. We are here in the Garden of Happiness, which is located in a boogie down Bronx in New York City. You know, I tell people, when people think about materialistic things, I say, well, you know, it's going to be a crisis one time. And what's more valuable? You can't eat gold, you can't eat money, and you can't eat your cars. But I got fruit and vegetables. Those are the things that are going to be of value because I'll be able to take care of my family and my community. So um, I wanted to grow collard greens. So collard green is part of the African-American culture. And so I wanted to pay tribute to that. And then I found this thing called Swiss chard. And so I decided to try it and I'm hooked now. I grow Swiss chard. It's very hardy. If you don't have a green thumb, you can grow Swiss chard. It's the plant that keeps giving and giving and giving. You'll have Swiss chard the whole, whole season long. And then I said to myself, well, what am I gonna do with Swiss chard? So I tasted first raw, <laughs> tasted horrible. And then I said, um, hmm, let me see what sort of recipe I can come up with. you got to do is just char, you have to make sure that you rinse it really good because sometimes it can get gritty. sauce. Your Swiss chard should be looking like this. However, to bring it up to the maximum level of taste, add a can of white beans. It will infuse and it'll just melt in your mouth. Stir that, look at that, look at that color. It's a great meal. You don't need anything else but maybe a slice of bread. French bread and a glass of wine and you're good to go. Mm. This is Bronx style, in the hood style. Everyone should have a right to good food. Then we will be much better off and we can put the hospitals and the pharmaceutical companies out of business because people be more healthy. Use food as a celebration. Use food as a tool of resiliency and resistance to make sure that everyone eats healthy and everyone has that right.